Hello everyone, it's me, Ryan from Little Minority. We have here a very special guest today. We have here the voice director and the voice of Slider from Power Rangers Dino Fury, Campbell Cooley. Campbell. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. So how are you doing so far? I'm good. I'm good. Um, as uh, probably a lot of people know, uh, we're in lockdown again. We've been in lockdown mm -hmm. for about two months. So I've just completely let myself go and I've gotten very, very scruffy. So... <laughs> Hey, you still look good. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so let's get anyway started. So, um, can you tell us about the audition process for Slider and how did you find a voice of Slider? Mm. Well, um, you know, I I didn't want to share this story, but you know, I might as well. Um, I I honestly didn't think I'd be auditioning this season because of all the work I've already done for the show. So, uh, so how did I find the voice of Slider? Uh, totally by accident for whatever reason i so i sort of knew that this season was being adapted from rear soldier and i think i'd seen a photo of what slither looked like um so but that was all i knew about him and despite my best efforts i i don't know what was going on at the time or maybe i was busy or something else was happening I, despite my best efforts, I wasn't able to do any research on Wiseru or Weisel, you know, uh, who he's based on, uh, in the hopes of potentially informing my audition. So I literally went into the audition completely blind. I had no idea um, how to prepare for this. All I knew was that he was kind of like a magician and kind of like a deceiver and a manipulator. So I... Um, I'd gone in with like three different voices to offer uh, and the, the casting director, I'm pretty sure, did not like any of my auditions. So I was suddenly placed in this position where I had 12 seconds to come up with a new audition. And that was the voice that ended up getting me the part. <laughs> Interesting. Now, going to the next question is, did you like, did any of your past voices influence Slider? Because we did know you did voice a lot of past villains right. of Power Rangers, um, uh, like Heckle, I mean, sorry, Snide, right. Scrozzle, Scrozzle from Me Small First Type, and Dino, Dino Charge, and a lot of the other monsters in the past. So, again, mm -hmm. like, we find, like, did any of the, your past voices influence Slider? That's a good question. You know, it would be perfectly understandable if people think that I've based Slither on Cosmo because there are similarities, but that's actually really not the case. Um, once I got the part and I kind of better understood where they were going to be taking the character, I was able to build upon the audition that I had done. And while Slither and Cosmo are, they're both showmen, uh, in in actuality, I've tried to craft craft Slither. Uh, he's more he's more based on like an old English theater actor where you know everything is dramatic and that sort that sort of thing. Um, so um, that's it's been a real joy to record him. And uh, I tell you, I'm really I'm in debt to the writers this season for the amazing dialogue that they've given him. It's just been every time I go in to record, it's just it's so much fun. And I just I just love I just love recording his dialogue. Interesting. Okay. Now of course, we do know the rumor like there's a lot of rumors. Like of course we do know Gap for like the fans that you are basically the Stan Lee of Power Rangers because you legit are almost in every project since Ninja Storm. <laughs> um so of course there is a lot of fan theories. Consider like, um, and like, like a concerning like what role you would play for Dino mm, Fury, right. and people were predicting you would play Wiseru. Now, when now tell us this, what was your reactions of the fans actually predicting you would play Wiseru, who is actually Slider in the American version? Oh wow, I I was completely astounded, and I suppose I should give a little bit of backstory so fans can further appreciate my reaction. Um, I. Like I said, I, I, I was not expecting to audition this season because I've just done so much voice work in the past. I figured, you know what, they're just uh, the chances of me auditioning for another character, much less getting an ongoing character. Almost I, I don't it was it was non-existent. And so uh, I auditioned for Slither in September 
of last year, 2020. And I found out in the first week in October that I had been cast. So I was, I mean, first I was astonished that I got another ongoing villain because I was convinced that Scrozzle was going to be my last character. And, um, but in this case, you know, so I'm cast in October and, but I wasn't going to begin recording Slither for another six months. Oh. So I was just, and a motorcycle just went past. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. So, um, <clears throat> I wasn't going to be recording for at least another six months. So I was like, I was just chomping at the bit. So, you know, in the past, whenever I've been cast to do a character, usually I'm recording him within a few weeks. And this was the first time where I had to wait at least six months before I would be recording the character. And I was going crazy. I was like, oh, I want to start doing this character. And in the meanwhile, um, I noticed fans on social media were starting to place bets and start guessing, you know, uh, who I would be playing as if, you know, they somehow knew I was going to be doing something for this season. And the majority of the fans were guessing uh, Wiseru, who, right. you know, Slyther is based on. And I was just like, wow, I mean, <laughs> how, how are they guessing this? And of course, I couldn't say anything. You know, I had people messaging me saying like, you know, oh, what character are you playing this season? And I'm just like, you know, sorry, <laughs> I can't talk about it. And um, so it got to the point where like there were so many people guessing that I started taking screenshots of all mm -hmm. the people guessing. And in the end, I, I tried to compile them and do a little thank you video uh, to, you know, show my appreciation and which I obviously wouldn't be able to uh, share until at least Slither went to went to air. And as it stands, I feel bad. I wasn't able to use all of the screenshots because it was just there were so many. The video would have just gone on forever. So I kind of just randomly picked a whole bunch of um, screenshots and and compiled them in, in an attempt to say thank you. But to all those other people who were guessing, thank you so much. It just, it means the world to me. And again, thank you for bringing Wise Root to life. <laughs> you. Oh, that's lighter. Dance, dance, dance. Yeah, I do. I love that when you actually said that. So it's actually cool. <laughs> uh, so my last question is, what can ex what can fans expect of Slider in the future? Without any spoilers, of course. Right. Um... The simple answer is more awesome dialogue and um, just a few surprises. That's that's all I can say. <laughs> that's all I can say. But yeah, he's um, he's I just I'm so thrilled to be playing him. And, um, you know, it's it's been a while since I've seen Wild Force, but I kind of get the sense that um, Slyther and Mucus are kind of like the new Gendrax and Toxica mm. in terms of like comedic villains. And it's it's a real joy. It is such a joy to have be able to play opposite mucus. <laughs> okay, all right. It's funny you say that too, because I I do see similarities. So hopefully, we see, some, yeah. hopefully we see something that's similar to that. So Wild Force, that's a good uh, mention. Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, again, Campbell, thank you so much for being my, our special guest. Thank you for the interview. Uh, this is Illuminati, and so, you know, bye, guys. <laughs>